Hello, hello everybody. How are you all going? Hope you've had a wonderful day or evening. And just pulling things up now so I can see what's happening. And then we'll get right to it because this is the third time. Third time's a charm. So, da 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 da, change that. Okay, we're in live chat now. So, I've mixed up the blues that I mentioned last night to try and a bigger amount of white. Still kept the silver, mixed up a kind of turquoisey colour from the blues and a dash of green. This is a really dark blue, so this is the ultramarine deep with the two drips of black. Baby cakes, how you going? And then this is the ultramarine deep and cobalt blue together. So mixed, mixed, mixed. The only originals are the titanium white and the silver. Alright, so let's get right into it because one of the things about last night's is I don't think it had enough time to drip um, because there were only about three or four drips in the same spot whereas the previous one had maybe double that. So yeah, let's try it. I do have one a question though as to whether or not this one might contain slight traces of silicon. Uncertain. But I don't think so. So <laughs> let's go with that. All right. Get a bit closer. Hey, Mandy. How are you going? Did you have a good day? So. Alrighty, so we need a, a side cup to um, put our, pour our paints into. And hey mom, hey Grace. Hope you enjoy this, hope it works well. Excellent day, thanks. How is yours? Productive. So I always love productive days. Uh, getting stuff done and checking it off the list is awesome. Thank you very much. So we'll start with some white in the bottom. Just so that there is some white that comes out of that very la last paint in the cup. And let's go. I want to try and stay in order. So a little bit of this one and I'm dropping them in up high tonight. I'm not going to tilt the side and pour it down the side because you know that's what I decided. So that was maybe the silver now. Some. And then the darker. And then this one. So even though I'm not actually laying, layering <coughs> the cup, excuse me, um, I'm still going to follow the order. Get that poured in. So it's smaller layers this time. Uh, I think that was also missing from last night. Now that the paints are in order, it's a bit easier to just grab and pour. This one. At least one more layer here. So the other thing I realized was that with that background layer of paint on the canvas, it caused a lot of suction and lack of ease of pulling up the can strainer. 
so I'm not going to do that um, for this one so okay oh there it is I'm looking on the table for my cloth but it's actually up on the camera stand okay all right you excited to see this one in blues man <sighs> it's gonna happen right let's see so adding up all the things that I have learnt might see if we can come a bit closer again um, yeah this is what we've come down to no background paint smaller layers in the cup to have multiple colors and a little bit more time allowing some drips so smack bang in this is an 8 by 10 inch canvas so that is what is that 8 by 10 inches 10 inches 25 centimeters by 20 20 by 25 centimeters and yeah let's start with the initial pour into the center bottoms up you can see that we've got some colors very mixed colors through there I might actually pause here I think that's what we did the first time let some of this flow out that middle section so I'll check messages everyone's greeting each other lovely can you pour the colors right into the straight into can string absolutely um, that can be something that we go for on the next one you just pour them straight in you'll get similar to a um, like a bottle bottom where you just pour or you don't you could do a dirty pour with that as well so it's completely up to you, the individual yeah I got you one at a time Grace loves the colors too awesome best neighbor ever how you going nice to have you here all right so I've given that a moment so now we'll come up and we'll start spilling over this little ledge and hopefully start dripping out those first holes and make it to the second holes now And all the way out okay there we have it things are happening I'm just turning my hand so that different areas of what's left in the cup can be evenly spread around if I get my spirals right but that is just um, yeah you don't have to spiral it you can absolutely pour the paints in cleanly straight from their cup or container and just wiping my hands I think I might need to turn this around it looks like we've got a bit of a slope happening some blues flowing out and around and normally let's 
Let's see. You can definitely see that those little... Looks like it's going to be pretty. Grace, hello. You're on your individual one. All right. So let's just come down and have a quick look at that. You can see I definitely didn't stay centered with that <laughs> rings. But you can see those little puckered kisses as the paint drops through. And on the other side is where we see that little kiss effect. Okay. Grace is my niece, everybody. Oh. Okay. So just kind of checking, and I think it's just about time to pick it up and let that center flow through. So, whew. Again, so I'm going to rest my pinkies on the edge, lift it up and hold it hovering just to let that last of it drip through. And you'll be able to, you should be able to see the, this outside pattern happen on the center as well. So up we go. I'll make sure my gloves aren't, they're a bit big before my fingers, so I don't want them to get into the paint that's already on the canvas. And we're lifting. See, it's so much easier to lift and look how much flows through. I'm just going to stay very still. Crazy concentration happening right now. And I can't move to see what's underneath and if the dripping has slowed or if it's still quite steady because I'm scared of moving. This is going to look amazing. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, just a little, little moment longer. Looks like one of those lovely puffy cushions. I know, you could just lay right on that, hey. Okay. Just a little bit. A little bit more. So yeah, throughout this video, I hope you found it inspirational, educational, or you've just relaxed, meditational. How's that? Got some oohs and ahs over here. Oh, awesome! Wait till we see what comes in the center. So, all right, we're going to move now. Release my arms from their locked position and go. <laughs> Land straight in the pile of red from yesterday. Okay. We still don't have as many drips as we ever did with that first one. With those leftover paints. But, wowzers. You can see the very center is like a little balloon kiss. All right, let's have a look. So definitely next time we'll try pouring the colors in individually um, because maybe, maybe that's just 
what's not cooperating for me. Hello, Cynthia. How are you going? That's pretty. Thank you. All right. So, seems like a nice amount of paint on here. So, we'll start moving down towards this corner. We're coming down this way. You can see that the paint's rolling over itself to get there. And that's because there's no base layer on the bottom. So it's grouping on the canvas and rolling over. Okay, okay there. Back to the other side and push that corner off. It was much easier on a round last night. So I think we're going to lose a lot of a lot of those outside pebbles, petals, I'm sorry. But if we opening up that center, that's going to look pretty cool. Okay, into the corner and over. Bring it back. Come to this last corner. Oh my gosh. There are some amazing little drippy flowers now that it's opened up. Okay, into the corner. Back a bit, release the fingers downward. And back. So just having a look at where everything's at, and then while I'm still shifting the 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 paint, just working out the composition of what I like. I need to just touch up this corner. Okay. I think we'll just come to the left a little and then we'll be set. So that just pushed tiniest bit over the edge. And then when we bring it back, oh boy. I think to me it's upside down, or it could stay this way, but wowzers, that middle, um, I just want to, hmm, don't want to pop it down directly in the puddle, so, just wipe my hands for a moment, and give you a close up look some of these little effects so I will definitely have more fun with this I know it and even though I tried using that bit of extra white I'm not so sure it lightened it up a whole bunch more but let's have a look Oh, light, hang on. See that middle section? Okay. Stunning. Thanks, could you? Could you put a baseline on after you've pulled the colander? Yes. No, no, no. You could use that as sacrificial paint that you are deliberately just putting paint down around the pore that you've created just for those purposes to help it not roll over itself and to help it slide towards the sides and corners. So here's some of those, look at that, like, look 
very flowery little little ones. We certainly don't have the drip on drip on drip on drip on drip effect. So I think there's been so this is the third time <clears throat> but most definitely oh you're welcome Mandy um, most definitely something learnt every single time so it's really pretty yeah thank you I think this very middle section including that little balloon kiss type effect is my favourite Oh. All right. So just another quick look over it. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below for those watching the replay and share it with others, please. It's a fabulous way of supporting us creators and artists. No matter what we do. So, yeah, oh, sorry about that bounciness. So, there we have it. Really pretty, awesome. Yeah, so, and, that, and that's something that if you feel like you do something and you don't learn any anything from it because, you know, you potentially think you may know everything and shut yourself out from learning. It's we learn every day. It's um each and every time we do a pour, especially in fluid art, there's always there's no guarantee that it'll work out as planned. So but you've got to be able to accept that, know that and go with it. So there we have it. Thank you so, so much. You guys are amazing. And I just took my gloves off and I'm still yet to clean up. <laughs> Crazy days. So, all right, next time, clean paint layers and potentially still more white. Who knows? Anyways, it's gorgeous. You really love the colors. Thank you, my love. Giselle from Canada. Oh, thanks for popping in. You missed it, but it's really pretty. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And yes, yeah, so, well, you made it in for my best wishes. Ciao, Mum. Um, if you have to go anywhere, please take care and be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.